This is the entrance to Lorom Bagbo's presidential residence, or at least what's left of it. Among the bodies of some of the former president's last loyalists, Watero's soldiers are celebrating. Lorom Bagbo has left and we've got this. We're going to have some fun with this this evening. The house is now partly destroyed, with fires blazing on the ground floor. It suffered 24 hours of heavy bombardments from French troops. And look, who's got it now as payback? Look, now we're free. We're going to go safely back to our families to see our children and put our weapons down. This was once a lobby. Now everything is gone except a Bible. Laurent Bagbo spent the last few days down here, in the basement. There's a bedroom, an office, and piles of documents. Looters have already taken everything of value. In the courtyard, Wathara's troops aren't yet in the mood for reconciliation. You're dead! We screwed you! We screwed you, you're dead! There's nothing you can do! Out in the street, the French soldiers who joined in the assault are guarding the building and the prisoners. The company's mission is to secure the immediate vicinity of the presidential residence, firstly because the French embassy is next door to it, and then to make sure that there's no return to fighting in this building, which is a symbolic place, and to stop the looting from spreading. French troops say they cleared the way during the attack, but stopped at the gates of Bagbo's residence, leaving the final fight to Ivorian soldiers.